Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hello guys. Hi. And welcome to this new episode of What's Up Jude. So I think by the title, you saw that we have a guest today and we're super <laughs> happy to have her here. So before she's going to introduce your, herself, um, just like the usual, you can subscribe. You can share the podcast to your friend if you like it. And we also have an IG called What's Up Jude Pod and everything will be in the description of this episode. So now on to the episode. So Quiva, if you can introduce yourself in any way that you like and talk about yourself, your passion, <laughs> your passion, your background and the people that inspires you, inspires you, you are free. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Um, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, it's really cool being here. Um, <laughs> so my name is Quiva. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Dublin, but I live in Spain. So I have a bit of a different cultural view. I can speak different languages. Um, I really love music and reading and meeting new people. And yeah, a lot of people inspire me, especially my family, my friends, and musicians, things like that. All right. Uh, maybe let's see, you can ask the first question or... Yeah. Uh, so uh, you left everything in Ireland to settle in Spain. And more precisely, so uh, I think it's next to Barcelona. Uh, yeah. So how how did you leave uh, this transition, especially because you were young? Well, um, well, I, I left with my family, so it wasn't so difficult because I knew other people who were doing the same thing. Um, but yeah, it was definitely strange at first. It was a big difference. You know, there was a lot of change going on the first year, but we... I found uh, a lot of people who are like me, who, you know, live here, who want to meet new people. I met a lot of nice people. I found a friend who also speaks English. So I was able to help her and she could help me. So it wasn't so hard. <laughs> and when you left, um, how old uh, were you? So I was 13 when we left. Oh, you were pretty young. Yeah. 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 So and did you did you know any Spanish or? <laughs> no, I didn't know anything. Whoa! And now you can I speak fluently. Yeah, I kind of had to learn on the job. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so you couldn't speak Spanish, but isn't it more difficult because I know in Barcelona it's even different because it's not real Spanish. It's yeah, there's a second language yeah. that they speak in Catalonia, which is Catalan. So yeah. the classes in the school were all in Catalan, but um, a lot of people only speak in Spanish, like when they're hanging out on the playground. So I kind of had to know both. So now you can speak Spanish, but also Cat Catalan. Yeah, Catalan. That is so yeah. cool. <laughs> that, is, that is so cool. Like having this different <laughs> culture coming yeah. here meeting new people that is and uh you told you told us that you like music um yeah so i'm going to ask you <laughs> what is your favorite genre of music and can you play any instruments um uh yeah i i think i listen to a lot of different music a lot of different types of music but mainly i listen to pop music or you know indie music things like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's really great yeah <laughs> Um, and I can play instruments. I can play the guitar and the piano and also the ukulele. I learned wow. it during the lockdown and it's really nice as well. Just like, just like Leslie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, actually I bought a ukulele, but I just can play like four chords. But, so that's not really playing, but you know, yeah. practice, practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So also, um, Quiva, have you had you got um, difficulties for the social things because you were 13? So I know sometimes it can be 
really hard because when you're 13 and you saw other people, maybe they grew up together. So how did you manage? Yeah. Well, it was, <laughs> it was difficult because, you know, I'm quite shy mm. and also I couldn't really communicate properly. So I did find some people who could kind of speak in English or who could speak in Spanish because I tried to have a base of Spanish, but I couldn't really understand. Um, but yeah, they did all grow up together. So the groups were pretty tight knit and it was hard to get into the group. And so I kind of found like a group of people who felt like they didn't belong in a group either. And then we made a group. Whoa, that's so great. <laughs> <laughs> Another question that we have, we have many questions too. Okay? <laughs> so <laughs> you will have to drink water because you know, you're going to speak a lot today. <laughs> Don't worry. So the question is, has ex this expatriation given you more the, de the desire to learn new languages or culture and to discover the world? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I really love traveling and I'm trying to learn multiple languages now. I'm really interested in it because different, learning about different cultures is really interesting to me. So, so it's definitely helped. Um, at school, you're learning... What are the languages that you're learning at school? Um, so in the school, it was Catalan, Spanish, English, and then we could also learn a foreign language because technically Spanish and Catalan aren't <laughs> foreign languages here. Yeah, yeah. So you could pick French or Italian, but okay. I'm also learning uh, Korean <laughs> because I love Korea. So. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice! <laughs> and um, yeah. also, uh, Quiva, have you got any ideas for the future uh, linked to, you know, your, um, how can I say that, your travel uh, and languages desires? Um, yeah, I think that I will definitely spend a year or two abroad traveling to different countries and learning languages. I think I want to do Italian because my friend speaks Italian and I understand it pretty well because Catalan has a lot of influence from French and Italian. Of course. We're going and, to uh, do that together. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> for the listeners, um, I think Leslie has already told you, but I don't she's think learning. So. No. No. She, okay. But uh, Leslie is also learning by herself Italian. So that's pretty cool to have a friend that also want to, you know, learn Italian. So together they can progress and yeah, improve. So that's really great. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> Viva, can you speak French or, or can you understand, or I don't know. I can uh, kind of understand French, but I can't really speak. Yeah. We were talking about that. I don't know. I think in the last podcast, yeah, uh, how French is can be difficult for uh, foreigners so. and even for us you know <laughs> yeah french is complicated <laughs> again if you'd like to move to another country what would be the yeah. country oh i think greece greece oh, yeah. well, greece mm -hmm. I've never heard of that answer can you tell us Women why Jesus. oh i love um i don't know the the scenery there is very beautiful yeah the sea and the people are so friendly and they have nice food. <laughs> <laughs> like the cheese, yeah. for example. <laughs> yeah. As French, we know how food is important to that choice. So, yeah. Food <laughs> is important, guys, for the listeners. If you want to move to another country, um, food is important. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, because we're talking about food, I think you are a vegetarian, Huiva. I tried to be a vegan for yeah. about two months and it was quite difficult. I had been a, ve a vegetarian for around a year before, so I thought it would be pretty similar, but it is difficult, yeah. it is hard to follow. So now I just try and eat very little meat and dairy when I can. I think it is the right choice yes. like to 
you know, because、uh, Leslie is also a vegetarian, and to limit your consumption, consumption, <laughs> <laughs> consumption of、uh, meat is、um, a great way to save the planet, you know, and also dairy,、yeah. as you said,、mm -hmm. and fish. Don't forget fish. Yeah, fish. Oh yeah, I never <laughs> eat fish. <laughs> I saw I, I that that documentary, and so now I can't I can't eat fish anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, and、yeah. then there's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but the I, thing but is, just, yes. Sorry, I just I eat very little meat anyway, so it's not that difficult for me to avoid it when I can. But the, I love vegetables. The thing is,、uh, with、uh, vegetarian people and also vegan, is that often people are like, yeah, but you should.、Uh, Eat meat because there are many nutrients or stuff like that, and、um, it's just like when you say, "Oh, I'm vegetarian," like there is always someone to tell you to tell you like you shouldn't be, like like you do whatever I you eat.、Want. I eat what yeah I eat what I, I want, and you eat what you want. It's not you know yeah yeah we can be friends even if I am not a veg vegetarian, for example.、Yeah. Like、mm -hmm. sure and um. I have a question also for Kriva. Which country do you prefer, Spain or Ireland? Ooh, oh, that's it. I love that question. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's a difficult one because <laughs> I I feel closer to the Irish culture because that's how I was raised. But also, I have a lot here in Spain that I love, like my new friends and you know the the weather is much sunnier, which I like. <laughs> Um. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go to university in in Ireland, but I'll definitely be spending a lot of my holidays in Spain. So I feel like I'm kind of equally involved in both countries. So I don't know. <laughs> That's hard.、Um, why Why going to the uni in Ireland and not Spain? Um. I don't know. I want to get better at Irish because I forgot、oh. a lot of my Irish. And so I wanna. I won't learn it unless I have to, <laughs> because it's really hard. That's yeah, so yeah, cool because you know you can speak English and you have the opportunity to speak Irish, and you to, can、yeah. you can speak Spanish and you have the opportunity、mm -hmm. to speak Catalan. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's right. And also, I I find that you're you don't have a really strong Irish accent. Yeah, actually.、Um... <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was in the first year there were a lot of people who couldn't understand me、um, because <laughs> the pronunciation is very different. So now my accent's kind of neutral because to speak in Spanish and Catalan I have to kind of get rid of the accent so that they can understand what I'm saying. By the way, I love your your voice and your accent. Like you,、oh, it you. is really <laughs> calm and I I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Leslie, do you do you have any question that you want to ask Riva for our listeners to you know understand more the expatriation as a teenager? If you went back to the time when you were in Ireland、uh, with your family and your friends, what、well, you're still、yeah. with your family, but、uh, would you want to go back like to do the same way, like to sell in Spain and do everything, or you will change? One or something like you will not going to Spain, but another country. Um, no, I don't think so. I I feel if I had stayed in Ireland, I'd be a very different person right now. So it definitely helped me grow and learn a lot. But I think if I could go back to change one thing, I would probably learn at least Spanish before coming, so that I could communicate better. <laughs> Yeah, but you were Because, you were thirty, and so it's quite yeah, young. Yeah, the the last year before we left was very very busy. We had a lot of things to sort out,、mm. so I didn't really have time to prepare. Um, but I think it was better that way, <laughs> because I kind of just had to go with it.、And、yeah, you you have、it. you had no choice. Yeah, I like the way that your family didn't did not give you yeah choice to. Leave and you have to learn a new language in you know di directly when you are in the country. That that's so great, and I think it is um the best way to learn a language actually. Yeah, be in the country. It really is. Yeah. yeah. It、right. forced me to. I had to. I had to learn the language, or just 
I don't know. I I had to pass school and I had to talk to people. So yeah, going that wasn't to really school. A that is so amazing of you to go in a country, go to school, don't understand any word, and yeah. then look at you now, fluent yeah. in in many languages. <laughs> yeah, I was terrified though. I was terrified. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but it 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 definitely made me more open minded. Yeah, sure. I also have a question for you, Leslie, actually. <laughs> oh, <Shoot. right. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Question for everyone today. If you'd like to move to another country, what would be the country? Whoa. And why also? And taking into account food, the language, um, the weather, and uh, what you know of the country right now. This is a serious question, like... Yeah, that is a serious <laughs> question. Um, this is an exam or something like that, because... No, no, I no, just, like... <laughs> you know. Um, maybe I would say, like, Italy, because I'm learning Italian, so that would be easy. But, I don't know, maybe Italy or Spain, because I'm not good as much as I would, as I want in Spanish, so yeah. um, I, I really want to practice, but yeah, to leave, I will say that, and like just to go, I want to go everywhere, so yeah. Yeah, me too, I want to go everywhere, <laughs> but right now it is complicated. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not about the expatriation, Quiva, but um, how did you, how was your last year during quarantine and how, um, yeah, how did you manage to, um, I don't know, find happiness or, you know, how was yeah, your life? Um, it was, I mean, I have a big family, so it was crazy. It was very busy and loud all the time. <laughs> um, but I, I just kind of went on walks and when I could and, you know, I learned the ukulele. I, the only thing that got me through lockdown, I think, was music because it helped to, it helped with my mental health because it was a very strange time, but uh, yeah, no, things are slowly improving. People are getting vaccinated, so. Um, yeah, I think in Spain, uh, restaurants are open. Some, yeah. Some. And next week, actually, a lot of the rules are going to change. There will be less restrictions because right like now you. we're kind of in a lockdown but not really yeah but... we're the same <laughs> <laughs> except that we don't have restaurant open yeah this is the third lockdown so again like season three yes <laughs> yeah Kriva, do you do you have questions that you want to ask us or maybe for the listeners um do you have anything um... to say to them I will have I... like one question just before. I will have one question okay. at the end of the of very the, end. Yeah, end like uh, okay, the last two end. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to know what inspired this podcast. Why you decided to make it, and the listeners. I mean, it's very interesting to to hear these kind of things on podcasts as well. So I'm sure they they have a lot of you know, things to talk about and listen to. Thank Do you for this serious question. Yeah. You go first, Leslie, <laughs> you go first. I saw you, you go first. <laughs> um, uh, um, okay, short, short story. Um, we, like, we often talk like that with, with um, Alex and so, because we have like revision sessions and sometimes it 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 takes like three hours instead of one and um so we were like maybe if we can talk first in english because it was a uh, lockdown and we didn't speak english very often so we decided just to record because maybe uh, you know just to share our thoughts and yeah we also listen a lot of podcasts, so <laughs> lots, yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
That's so um, cool. Just like Leslie said, uh, we always talk like a lot. Um, and uh, we want, we were like, yeah, we need to share this to the world because also for us, it can be really interesting to look back when we were going to be, I don't know, 35, you know, always, yeah. I don't know, to see how we were thinking and um, just let our, I don't know how to say that, but um, not idea, but our voice on the internet is always a cool idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also have another project. Uh, far away from college and can, you know, um, even if it's just a podcast, we're doing a thing like right now you're in Spain and we're in France and I, yeah, that's crazy, yeah. you know? And crazy. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also we, we can acquire new skills. For example, I didn't know how to edit and mm. uh, I did learn this with the podcast and uh, that is so much fun. And also. Uh, actually, it started with the the American politics because um, I was doing I was doing a revi revis revision session with Leslie. I'm having trouble to talk today, <laughs> and Leslie's like, "Well, it was like, oh, I can't understand her things." So I was like, you know, joking with her and uh, talking just like I was in the radio show, and that's also how it started. Yeah, yeah because when oh. when when I said we 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 talk. Um, it's not like typical teenager topics because we're not typical teenager <laughs> <laughs> and we talk about like politics and stuff like that. And so we're not like re really talking about politics, but there is some, like, for example, the episode about anxiety that was really mm -hmm. important and also studies. And I think that's really great topics so just yeah. to share and yeah. just what just like we're doing with you Cleva, uh to have another vision from someone who is um not in france is always cool to yeah to have for us but also for the people that are listening to us right now yeah so yeah that's yeah. how it started <laughs> i think it's a great idea i love it it's really inspired me to do something similar because It's nice to talk about passions and learn new things about other people. And have um, you got any projects? Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's alright. <laughs> um, have you got any project um, with you know music or anything else? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I am trying to write songs right now, um, mm. and it's quite difficult. But I have a friend who is from England who wants to study music production and she already has some music made and on spotify so what is her name can... oh, yeah what is this oh, yeah. we're, we're gonna put this in the des description of um, the episode all right uh her name is jemima gray gray with an a a y g or a y and she's she's really inspired me to do more with music because i've always loved listening to music playing instruments and singing so you and can I do it all yeah <laughs> yeah and i think people with this situation you know lockdown um they realize that sometimes they have passions and they didn't like um pursue it yep mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so it definitely gave me more time to try and do you want to study uh, music when you will be I... in ireland I think I'm going to study uh, criminal law because, Whoa. yeah, I'm really interested in, you know, justice and social, like, you know, the, the current situation mm -hmm. with society. And I think with criminal law, especially if I learn in English, I could travel, you know, and go to America. And with because I speak Spanish as well, I could oh, yeah. do something in Spain. So. You know, And also in the South America too. As well, yeah. That is so, so cool. I feel like I could do a lot with that. Um, for the listeners, if you want to ask a question to Huiva, do not hesitate because she can do it all. She can sing, she can play instruments. <laughs> She's very smart, as you can see. So if you have any question, please let us know for her, okay? This is all very new to me. And I think it's so cool what you guys are doing. So Thank it's you. surprising to see. How We're happy to have you here too. 
And also, just I remembered that you came, yeah, you came to Paris, like yeah. when we saw each other. And just another question, not related to like ex uh, expectations. Space. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, um, did you enjoy Paris? Like, yeah, I loved it. I you can say no, okay. <laughs> 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 no, I genuinely had a great time in Paris. It's very international, so I love seeing that because Ireland is a lot smaller. And until recently, we didn't have a lot of different cultures and, you know, languages going on there. So it's really nice to see so many different nationalities and languages existing in one place. I thought that was really nice. Okay. Yeah, I miss Paris too. Yeah. <laughs> in Paris. <laughs> uh, so was, yeah, my last question. question. Yeah, I know you're like, what is it? Uh, so my last, <laughs> <It's no. laughs> my last question for Quiva is, what advice would you give to you to your you? Is that even English? I don't. To yourself. <laughs> to a you. few a few years ago. Oh, this. Yeah, I thought about this one for a while because there's a lot of things that I experienced that I was not prepared for. Um, and I think I would say not to take everything so seriously because I spent a lot of time stressed out and overthinking the first few years that we moved here and a little bit before as well, um, where I was very, very... Um, introverted and felt you know scared and nervous to talk to other people and I think I would have really enjoyed this experience a lot more had I not been so focused on studying and if I'd spent more time maybe with other people that's a great a great advice yeah even for now yeah even for now don't take things too seriously and enjoy your life and um balance you know that is the yeah, key balance. i think that was the last question i'm really sad to yeah. end this episode actually but that was so cool she's really interesting and i like the way you you talked to you as i yeah. told you Kuiva. <laughs> i love you. your accent just yeah me too just for you to know <laughs> oh thank you so, thank you uh we were super happy to have you Maybe we can have you another episode, I don't know. Yeah. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna wrap up the episode. Lassie, do you wanna wrap up? Uh, what I'm supposed to say. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. What are you <laughs> supposed to say? You teach that me. It is the end of it is the <laughs> it is the end of the episode and to um share. Yeah, yeah, as usual. Guys, dude, sorry, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> um, share, subscri subscribe, and also even more. I think it's even more important for us. Like, just if you want to talk with us or comment on our IG, or you know, have like in interaction. Yeah, interaction. Yeah, I think that's it. So okay. Uh, so Kuiva, thank you again. For being here and yeah no, thank you for inviting me this was so fun we'll see you soon in another episode of what's up dude so bye bye mm. bye <laughs> bye <laughs>